Hey guys, we're just coming back with another Call of Duty mobile video. And before we go ahead and get in today's topic, I want to give a huge shout out to two people. So one for Ray Legardo for letting me use some of his footage um, from one of his videos. This is how I was able to kind of piece together um, what I need for today's topic, as well as gameplay you guys are going to be seeing, which is sniper gameplay from Hype X. So really appreciate him for hooking me up for some gameplay. I'll link both him and Ray's YouTube channel down in the description. So please check him out. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So today's topic is going to be about the perks in the game. And this, going to be honest guys, took quite a while to piece together. Because out of all the gameplay that I was trying to find online, I could not find every single perk in the game. Or at least the ones that were updated towards the end of the beta. And trying to find what each one specifically did. So, I'll try my best. Um... But so far, I think what I have here to show you guys is pretty much all the perks. Maybe one or two missing. Um, and again, this was a beta, so things are very much subject to change. So things can change between now, from you know, until the global release. And I actually have proof of that in this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So these are the perks from the very early stages of the beta, all right? So in the green section, remember there's three slots per class. There's a green, blue, and red. So for the green slot, we got the Agile, Harden, Arm Master, Scavenger, Vulture, and Six Senses. And then for the blue section, we got Ghost, Lightweight, uh, Hardline, First Bonus, Blast Vest, Dexterity, uh, Persistence, Fast Recover, Overlord. Uh, for the red section, we got Dead Silence, Tack Mask, Demo Expert, Supply for Lethal, and Supply for Tacticals. So, there you guys have it. Now, you guys might notice something. I actually wrote it down because I was like, hold up a second. So, there are six green perks, nine blue perks, and five red perks. So, yeah, that's definitely things needed to, you know, be worked on there. That's definitely unfinished. Um, and the reason I know that is, well, first of all, they're completely different numbers. Second of all, most COD games... Or pretty much, I think all of them, except for maybe COD Ghost, that had like 20 perks. But most Call of Duty games with perk 1, 2, and 3 slots usually have 6 per slot that you can choose from. Um, so, interesting enough, that is not the case. But I did find some images that kind of say otherwise. So, this image I found online, if you actually look right there on the bottom left, there is a brand new perk that was not shown there. So that one... Not too sure, but that goes in the red category, so that brings it now to 6 for the red. Um, but what's interesting is I'm not too sure what that is. I'm going to assume that that's extreme conditioning, which makes you run longer. So in Call of Duty games, I mean, recently it's unlimited sprints for most COD games now. But in the past, you would sprint and your character would have to stop to kind of take a breather and then you can go again. So that could be it. Not too sure what else that could mean. Uh, the other thing I noticed was, if we go to the next picture here on the bottom left, again, look at that. That is lightweight, but instead of it being a blue perk, it is now a red perk. So it looks like they switched things around. So there you go. That's literally proof of things are subject to change. Literally, all this could change, you know, by the global launch, but there you go. So now that's in the red. So now I believe that's seven for the red. Uh, so I'm pretty sure they're, they're still balancing it out to make 666. Uh, oh gosh, I hope I just said that. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> it's going to be balanced out that way. But um, other than that, I have four perks that I do have concrete like text on what they do. So let's get into that. So Harden, which is in the green slot, it reduces your weapon sway when damaged by 50%, which is pretty nice. Uh, Arm Master, you're able to carry 50% extra ammo or extra ammo, ammo because there's not an R in there, which is funny. Uh, and then for the blue perks, I only have fast recover, so it reduces the time it takes to recover to full health by 30%. And then demo expert, which is increased explosive damage by 20%. Don't know how I feel about that one, but there you guys go. So those are all the descriptions I have for the perks. Uh, the other ones you guys can kind of just assume, like agile brings your weapon up faster, um, you know, after sprint, because usually after you sprint, it takes a while to pull up your gun, so this will make it a little bit quicker, uh, as well as probably switching weapons quicker. Uh, Harden, we already talked about that. Armaster talked about that. Uh, Scavenger uh, is basically when you kill an enemy, he's going to drop a little bag, and you can go ahead, and as soon as if you just walk over it, you'll pick it up and grab some ammo. 
Um, Vulture, not too sure. That's actually the Scavenger logo, literally identical from Black Ops 3. But it's Vulture, so not too sure on that one. Uh, Six Senses uh, is from Call of Duty. It's uh, basically on your minimap. Uh, it might be different in this game, but on your minimap, it will show kind of an indicator of someone's like to your right, left, front of you, or behind you. Uh, ghost, hidden from UAVs. Uh, as long as you're moving, do mind that. Uh, lightweight, you just move faster, just by a little bit. Uh, hardline is basically, it takes less points to get certain streaks, which is nice. First bonus, not too sure on the first bonus. That kind of makes me think of... Um, of like first blood, like when you get the first kill in the game, you usually get a little bit more XP than actual like full on kills. Not sure on that what that one does. Blast Fest protects you from explosives. Uh, Dexterity probably lets you mantle things faster and some other things. Um, persistence, that's honestly not sure on that one. Fast recovery, already talked about that. Overlord, probably you're able to get your, uh, uh, what do you call it? Your, soldier skill <laughs> your ability quicker uh like the flamethrower the tempest all that stuff death Sons, pretty self-explanatory just makes your footsteps silent tack mask uh, a little bit or probably some resistance to any sort of uh, tactical grenade and then demo expo we already talked about that and then supply lethal and supply tactical i feel like those are going to be mixed into one perk but basically what that is is probably just going to give you like an extra grenade or so because uh, I think you only spawn in with one grenade, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, there you guys have it. Those are the perks in the game. Pretty uh, interesting things that are, again, going to be changing until global launch. But kind of wanted to give you guys sort of a rundown or sort of an idea of what are the perks that are going to be in this game. But uh, anyways, guys, enjoy the gameplay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I got a lot more coming. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one.